What's going on guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy and welcome to a video. So, there is a yard sale right next door to a library. And I figured, oh well hey, I'm going there anyway. So, I'll take a look what they have. I brought my money just in case there was something I wanted to buy. And there were some things I saw. I was like, yeah, okay, cool, whatever. Good old fashioned, that's some good shit we got. And uh, yeah. So I bought three video games for three bucks. Pretty much they were all a dollar a piece. And I, I, I'm, they, they look like they're old fashioned video games. Um, I don't mean like console or handheld, I mean like PC gaming. Really, I mean, cause I am actually slowly but surely building up my PC collection. Uh, because I'm going to library more, I might as well have some video games to play and record for videos. And what better way to do it with them with some old school video games? And most likely, uh, does this run? Does this say what all it runs on? It says PC DVD. Okay. But yeah, look at this shit. PC, no, PC DVD. What the fuck says that? Nowadays, we just say Windows or Mac or Linux or whatever. We don't say PC DVD. What the f I mean, I guess we do. I don't know. I, I... <sighs> so the first game I'm going to show you is Medal of Honor Airborne. Okay. Okay, looks pretty good. Pretty good. You got the fucking manual right here. I'm not gonna show you the activation code because knowing EA back in the day and now, it's possible they may fuck you over. I'm not taking that chance. But okay, yeah, this is old. Really old school. You can play Medal of Honor on your phone. But it's a really shitty phone. It's like a phone from back in the early 90s, early, early, or mid to late 90s to early 2000s. Those kind of phones, not, not the smartphones that the kids these days have. And, and look at what the game uh, looks like. Like the way, do you really need one of those protectors that big? I don't think you fucking do. I mean, seriously, what in the shit? But yeah, I mean, it's, ba it's <laughs> Battlefield. It's Medal of Honor Airborne. I'm excited because I love Medal of Honor. I, I have the some of the GameCube games. I have, I think, some of the PS1 games. I may have, have one or two of those. I'm not sure. I know I have at least one. I may have more. I'm not sure. I know I have more on the, on the GameCube. But as a fan of World War II shooters in general, like the old fashioned Call of Duty, and whatever, I decided I'd pick this up because why not? It's a it's classic. Any Medal of Honor is a fucking classic. And then uh, the next one we have is Battlefield 2. This is the complete collection of Battlefield 2. I don't have the first Battlefield because fuck it. A registration via internet required for Euro Force and Armored Fury content. Oh joy! Am I not gonna get the full uh, content? The content better fucking be free, cause this is an old game. So if it's not free, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to find some way to basically pirate or download the DLC for free, because I've already got the game. I'm not paying for DLC that may or may not exist. I keep opening and closing the case. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's got the collection in stores now. 2142 Battlefield. And uh, actually, 2142 Battlefield. Yes, this is the deluxe edition. 64 players online. Damn EA, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with EA? 64 players? 
Who? What? This is before Fortnite. Long before. So. You basically have a game, have some games with 64 players. I don't know about this one, Medal of Honor. The Battlefield, the Battlefield series, 64 players in multiplayer, pretty much. That's fucking ridiculous. Oh god. That's just boring. This is literally in black and white. Okay. I also remember when video games used to have notes in them. So you could basically put in cheat codes or... It's like, oh, okay, this is how you kill a boss. Perfect strategy. You don't see that shit anymore. Hell, you don't even have much manuals anymore. Or video games or anything like that, really. You know, I actually wonder if I can get these on my Steam account. I hope so, actually. I doubt it, but I wonder if I can. If I can get these games and show pictures or whatever that I own these games onto my Steam account, then I can just put these games on my shelf and then just play it off Steam. Download the files and then play them on Steam. Or I can download all the files to my passport thing, which is a USB kind of thing. This goes into the computer and this, yeah, the idea. I can load files and copy them so that way I don't have to bother. Although I do have to mention some games back in the day, you know, early PC games like Mob Enforcer. It seems like you have to have Um, you have to have the game disc in the computer to play it. That's kind of that's kind of what I like about old-fashioned video games. Is that you know I like the way the old video games look. I like the way actually these cases look. Really bulky for what is actually inside. Just some manuals, a uh, manual and some promotions and the game. No reason the game should have this big of a case, unless you had a big cartridge in it. But for a disc, I mean, this is, this is fucking ridiculous, but I like it. I do enjoy looking at these things and seeing how far we've come in PC gaming. And, you know, you, you might be wondering, why are you doing PC gaming now, as well as, you know, I, you know, not only is it because, you know, I'm collecting for that system, right, you know, for the PC, but I'm also preserving the past. One of these days, these games will no longer be physical copies. You know, video games are going digital. You know, the PS4, PS5, you know, Steam, Xbox Live, PSN, and, you know, in general, a lot of other video game streaming services. You can play video games whenever you want. All you gotta do is download the files and play. You don't have to drive to Walmart or GameStop or wherever you get your video games, Amazon, eBay, whatever, and then wait for it to show up or drive home and play it, put it in your thing. It's right there. Ease of access, pretty much. Pretty easy to, you know, put in a game that's, you know, download, download the game and then play it. And so that's why I hear rumors that they're actually starting to get rid of physical copies and everything's going digital. Yes, we still have these games, we still have GameCube, we can still buy them off eBay, Amazon. But the age of digital media, you know, watching TV on like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, etc., etc., music is the same way. Video games are the same way. Everything is going digital nowadays. And so I think, in my personal opinion, it's important to collect physical copies of old school games and also newer games. Basically, collect physical copies in general 
due to this, you know, this, this fact. And I think it's really important to remember where we got started. We got started with physical copies. We didn't have digital downloads back in my day of 2000. <laughs> yeah, I was, God, 2000 seems like it's, it's been fucking yesterday, but it was 20 years ago. Oh, shit. I feel old. I am old. God, so it's almost a year until the GameCube. I heard, I think the GameCube came out in 2001. I think it came out then in Japan. I don't know. But the GameCube is almost 20. I'm fucking ancient. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, video games have come a long way. It's important to remember the past, present day, and the future. Yes, there will come a time where they will no longer, you know, where you can no longer buy physical copies of your favorite games, you know, Battlefield 1, or let's say, for example, that uh, they made a game that was digital only. There's a lot of digital only games, you know, on Steam, PSN, whatever. But everything is going digital now, so just collect your PC games. PS3, PS2, basically collect everything you can while you still can. Because one of these days, it'll be over. You know, you'll you'll have to face the fact that you have to download everything now. Which I like, I like that ease of access, but I prefer to have physical copies. Because what if, I mean, I doubt something will happen to Steam or PS or Xbox Live out of nowhere. But one of these days... Steam, PSN, and Xbox Live are going to fail. They're going to go down, and all that money you bought via DLC or the, the games in general are going to go down the shitter. That's one thing I hate, is the fact that, you know, knowing that inevitably there will be games that you can never play again because they're digital only, and also the fact that some point in time these services are going down and being replaced with something else and you can never play these games again unless they were installed on your computer before or your system so yeah anyways guys and gals that is it for this video if you like this video give this video a like if that's fine too don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing and don't forget to subscribe hashtag nipples uh, <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and click the <laughs> click the bell icon down below so you get another find of my future uploads and live streams or whatever the fuck else I do. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro hoof. I do enjoy some old-fashioned gaming. <laughs>